Hey guys, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, sorry I'm a little bit late this week. Um, before I start, this is my Mountain Goat Steam Owl clone. Uh, it's, oh, not sure how old it is now, it must be four to six weeks old now, but um, yeah, it's great on a, been a hot day today, so I thought I'd uh, crack one of these open. The old head's um, staying there nicely. This has got the combination of um, the lager and uh, wheat malt in it. But wow, yeah, that's tasting really nice. Nice and clear, it's carving up, carved up very nice. And I'm very happy with that. So that'll keep me going until um, the Cascade, sorry, the Cooper's Cascade Red IPA is ready to drink. And talking about that, I'll, uh, I'll just flip the camera around and I'll show you how it's going. Okay, so here we have the old trusty fermentation uh, chamber. Um, so it's just sitting on 18, just over 18 degrees at the moment. We've been trying to keep it around between sort of 17 and a half, 18 degrees. So uh, here we go. Not sure if there's any airlock activity still. It's been in here since last Friday, so what's that? Six days coming up for? Oh, there we go. There's still a little bit of activity after six days. Um, yeah, so it's coming along nicely. Not too much else to say. A nice crown on the top. Yeah, so we're still getting um, 24, 25 degree Celsius days. Um, during the uh, middle of the day, um, but I'm finding I just um, have to put an ice pack in. There's just a little ice pack down the back. I just chuck that in, and that's good for sort of 12 hours to keep um, the temperature down to sort of that 18 degrees. So, yeah, no, I'm very happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's really about it, guys. I uh, I know you guys are busy. You got plenty of other videos to watch, so um, I won't sort of waffle on about anything else just for the sake of it. Um, I will stop here and um, carry on and sit back and drink this. Um, I have got something um, else organised, but I'll I'll show you once I get my uh, act together. Actually, I'll give you a bit of an idea. Um, you guys may have seen this in previous videos. This is my uh, rotor keg pressure barrel. Um, I've had it in the, the outside fridge previously, but um, what I'm finding is it's taking out way too much space. And like I say, it's 24, 25 degrees Celsius during the day, so it's way too warm to keep it out of the fridge. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have another spare um, S30 CO2 inlet valve um, and what I thought I might do is I might fashion a smaller pressure barrel, probably a 10 litre one, um, that I can fit in the fridge outside um, without it taking up too much space. Um, yeah, this, this thing basically once it's in the fridge, that's the the fridge pretty much full so um, and it means if Mrs Dino wants to put anything in the fridge then she's out of luck so um, yeah so that's that's what I'm planning to do is to fashion a smaller pressure barrel um, uh, like I say I've got another one of these um, I don't have another uh, relief valve um, but I'll have a think on that I know I've seen on websites, and I think you can get them from the UK, you can get the, there are S30 valves um, with a built-in um, pressure relief valve, all in, all in the one valve. This one is one of the older ones, so yeah, it just, just has the, uh, you can see it's got the band at the bottom, that's just for letting the pressure in, or the CO2 in. But there's no band on the top for releasing any of the pressure. Um, any of you guys in New Zealand, if you're aware of where I, where I can get an S30 
um, inlet valve, or sorry, an S30 valve that also has the pressure relief valve built into it. So it's an inlet and a relief valve all in one. Um, let me know. Um, yeah, so hopefully next Homebrew Wednesday I will have um, uh, progressed on getting a smaller sort of 10, 10 litre pressure barrel um, put together. And I can hopefully show you something then. Okay guys, that's me done. Um, hope you all have a great week. Um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for uh, watching the videos and liking and commenting. Um, I, do, I do appreciate it. Um, I know you guys are busy and you've got lots of other things going on in your life. So um, I know that when you do comment that um, you know, you're taking some, some of your valuable time out to, uh, to uh, sit down and watch my vids. So yeah, I do appreciate it. Thanks guys. And on that note, I will stop waffling as I promised about three minutes ago. Cheers guys, see ya.